As far as Gordon Ramsay shows go, few have gotten to be as iconic as Hotel Hell. There's just something satisfying about seeing him fix up an awful place. And so today, we'll be taking a look at some hotels from Hotel Hell and where they are now, starting with Brick Hotel. So, over the course of the series, Gordon has gone to quite a few historic hotels, and there's a good reason for that. A lot of people think that just because a location is historic and iconic, it'll generate its own income, and so don't really put in any effort. And that's exactly what the owner of the Brick Hotel Newton, Pennsylvania thought. Bought by a therapist couple, the Verundas, and their son CJ in 2006, the hotel had by the time Gordon came to visit fallen into sickening disrepair. And well, Gordon tried his absolute best to repair the place using his signature style, and for a while, it seemed to work. By far, the biggest issues with the hotel at the time were the catastrophic level of disrepair that the hotel's building was suffering, and secondly, the owners meddling with everything that happened in the hotel without any knowledge, making actually capable people unable to do their jobs. And for a while after Gordon's visit, the owners tried to remedy that, stepping back whenever it was possible to allow their employees to do their job properly, and it worked just like Gordon predicted it would. However, it was the second problem, namely the repair work turned out to be what killed the Verunda business. You see, for months after the whole debacle, many customer reviews complained about the state of the building, and in response, the owners always said there was a big renovation scheduled soon. And for the longest time, it did look like it had happened, but to offset the cost, the management decided to up their charges, which was basically an axe in the foot for the entire business. As a result of that decision, the online ratings of the place started to fall down. Both Yelp and TripAdvisor gave a generally negative response, and that prevented the hotel from getting the revenue it needed to stay afloat, causing it to be sold sometime before 2018. Under the new owners, the hotel seems to have improved, but only marginally, with a newly renovated structure and under the name of Rocco's. The establishment gets mixed reviews online. Moving on, the next hotel on our list suffered a painful fate as well, but the ending was a lot different than that of the Brick Hotel. River Rock Inn On the show, the River Rock Inn was as classic hotel hell as it gets. It took one step for Gordon to see just how many things the place was doing wrong, and the entirety of his stay was dedicated to fixing the mistakes there. The very first thing that stood out was the dated nature of the place, from old-styled rooms and rustic decor. However, in the case of this particular inn, that was not so much endearing as it was scary. And even if you ignore the aesthetic, something that definitely didn't help the place were the numerous bugs and cockroaches that were found all over the floors and even more ghastly in the main bedrooms. And just because the place couldn't get more perfect, the room Gordon was supposed to sleep in had bedsheets with visible stains on them. You see, when the guest of honor at your hotel has to stay in a sleeping bag just because of how disgusting the sheets are, you're doing a lot of stuff wrong. Luckily, however, Gordon managed to get to the owners well enough that they ended up improving the hotel many times over in that episode alone. And just because the owner seemed so painfully lonely, Gordon departs after giving the owner the phone number of a woman. Now, that's not nice and sweet, but what happened to the business? Well, according to online sources, the hotel was unable to stay afloat even after Ramsey's visit for multiple reasons, including, but not limited to, simply losing too much money trying to get on its feet. However, we promised a different ending, because we actually have good news this time. The River Rock Inn was reopened under the new name of Laurel Country Inn, and even better, has the same owners running it. One place that definitely did not get a happy existence, let alone a happy ending, however, is the next pick on our list, the Lakeview Hotel. Up until now, the hotels we've shown had owners that were incompetent and ignorant at worst, and at least had the good sense to at least listen to Gordon to mixed results. However, the owners of the Lakeview, Brent and Afni McDonald, were strongly outside that category of reasonable people. You see, the Lakeview Hotel is supposed to be an adult-only hotel, restaurant, as well as an ice cream parlor, situated on Lake Chillon in Washington. And while having the locational benefit of being literally on a lakeside would automatically 
dramatically improve the possibility of a successful business, the behavior of the owners made running the place an absolute disaster. According to the management, on an average month, the hotel cost the owners around $30,000 in loss. And so with numbers like that, it's no wonder that they had to ask Gordon to do his magic. That being said, unfortunately for the hotel, whatever advice Gordon had for them went down the drain faster than their own savings because it took practically no time for them to go back to the exact same behaviors that got them there in the first place. In fact, according to reports, the behavior of Brent in particular got markedly worse after the visit, with him growing distant from the locality, preventing whatever business did once take place there from ever growing. And with that bad reputation came even greater losses, resulting in the vast majority of the employees there getting laid off. Now, that's really bad on its own, but what makes the case of this hotel so damn bad is not just its behavior as a business, but the attitude the owner developed towards the people that helped his establishment. Because Brent had gone in to accuse the show of outright staging much of what was shown in the episode, and even more damningly, he claimed that he followed all of Gordon's advice down to every last detail, and yet the hotel still failed. Claiming that he changed the hotel's name and changed the menu just like Gordon asked, but it didn't do anything. And just if that wasn't selling his story enough, he ended that accusation with the revelation that in fact everything he did on the show was an act, because apparently he knew that they wanted drama. Listen pal, I don't know what you consider drama, but what you're doing right now is a lot more dramatic than anything you did live. Monticello Hotel Last, but certainly not least, we have the case of the Monticello Hotel, one of Longview, Washington's oldest establishments, which for years had suffered under the ownership of a serial alcoholic with a DUI. And, well, it looked like cars weren't the only thing he struggled with driving, because when Gordon came on, the hotel was a mess. Immediately noticing the abhorrently high prices and the awful rooms, Gordon sat down to fix this local classic. From implementing a new and improved menu to putting actual room service in place and giving the rooms and the halls a major facelift, the work Gordon put into the place was spectacular, and as you can imagine, so were the results. It seemed that overnight, the hotel had transformed into an alternate universe version of itself. The guests surged in, and for the first time in its recent history, the establishment looked like it could work. And while many may chalk that up to Gordon himself fiddling in for a day to make a place shiny for dramatic effect, at least in the case of the Monticello, the effect seemed to last. Not only did the establishment continue to stay in business, but from some of the reports that we have heard, that behavior has continued till well after the series. In fact, it's been said that the owners managed to renovate the place properly, and we don't have to remind you that that is an expensive thing to do. So we can only assume that the hotel has maintained decent profits to have been able to pull off something like that. And well, those are just a few of the hotels that got featured on one of TV's most brutal shows, and what, if anything, they learned from it. Click videos on screen right now.